Hey guys, welcome to another tier ranking. Welcome to my tier ranking for Ryan Gosling, the Canadian boy, the sexy man himself, Ryan Gosling. He does not have a lot of movies. I thought Ryan Gosling had a pretty big filmography. He really doesn't. He is so fucking particular picking movies. And these are all the Ryan Gosling movies I've, se I've seen. That is not a lot. That is not a lot at all. And yeah. He, he was also on a little bit of, like, a break for movies, too. Like, I know, he, I guess he's starting a family and stuff, so... I don't know, I'm just... I, I appreciate that he's very particular, and makes it a lot easier to do a tier ranking for his movies, so let's get to it. S is the best, F is the worst, and remember, all opinion! But my god, he's a lot of great movies. We're starting out with a great one. Place Behind the Pines. That's fucking A tier, man. Uh, I fucking love this movie. Derek Seinfrenz? I don't know the fuck. The director of this movie, it's so good. I love it's three stories about a bank robber, the cop, and uh, the bank robber's son. Really great movie. Beautiful dramatic story. Ryan Gosling, Bradley Cooper, Eva Mendez, Dane DeHaan, uh, Bruce Greenwood, Ray Liotta. And the whole cast is so good in this movie. Very powerful story. Just a really fucking great movie. And yeah. The Nice Guys fucking S tier, man. This is one of the best modern comedies ever made. I really wanted them to make a sequel to this. I think Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling are fucking amazing. Ryan Gosling is so funny. Ryan Gosling isn't always that funny and stuff, but he is hysterical in this movie. And the two of them work off each other so beautifully. I could have had four more sequels to this fucking movie. This is Shane Black's best movie. That's saying a lot. Because I'm not counting Lethal Weapon, because that was directed by Don Richard Donner. But this is, like, almost as good as Lethal Weapon. And I'm a huge Lethal Weapon fan. So for me to say this about a 2016 movie is just it's a high praise. Lars and the Real Girl is um, is weird. I appreciated it. I, I, I like that it's weird, but I'll never watch it again. Remember the Titans is an A, but since he's not being in it, I'll put it as a B. I love the movie, though. As a Denzel movie, it's A. As a Gosling movie, it's a B. All Good Things. This is probably the only maybe F-tier movie. I didn't like this movie at all. I hated his character in this movie. It's just, this movie sucks. <laughs> La La Land, A-tier. Love La La Land. It's a great musical. I really enjoy Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone in this movie. I, I love that huge homage to the classic musicals. A lot of homage to Singing in the Rain and American in Paris in this film. It's a super good movie. I'm just, I love it. I, I love this movie. Uh, and yes, it should have won Best Picture, not Moonlight. The Notebook. The Notebook. It's a very common thing for people to just be like, but no. It's, it's a C. It's not that bad, but it's not that good. The story is fine. His chemistry with Rachel McAdams is, is good, and James Garner is really good in the movie. Th there's touching moments here and there, but it's it's still a very just cliched, sappy romance, Nicholas Sparks movie, so, yeah. Gangster Squad is not good at all. I, I actually like Ryan Gosling in the movie, and I think there's some cool stylish stuff in it, but it's not a good movie. Ides in March, really fucking awesome movie. This is one of George Clooney's best directed movies. Not quite on the levels, good night and good luck, but still fucking great. A really, very real take on political campaigns. And Ryan Gosling is fucking wicked in this movie. Drive, S, fucking love Drive. Love this movie. It's a fantastic art house action movie. One of the best movie soundtracks of all time. And one of the most gr gritty, atmospheric action films. So fucking good. Fracture, yeah, is alright. Blade Runner 2049, S tier as well. Uh, S tier as well. Uh, Blade Runner is my favorite film of all time. I, and I still think Blade Runner is better than 2049, but I still doesn't mean Blade Runner 2049 is not a 10 out of 10. It's fucking amazing. Ryan Gosling is so good in this movie. Harrison Ford is so good in this movie. Everyone is so good. Ana is really good. Jared Leto is passable, which is code for really good, I guess. <laughs> Love the atmosphere. I love that it, it was a very worthy sequel to a masterpiece that is Blade Runner. So, First Man, overrated as shit. I usually love Damien Chazelle, but he has been really disappointing me. I love La La Land and I love Whiplash, but 
First Man and fucking Babylon. God damn, man. Get your shit together. Blue Valentine, B tier. It's a great movie. It's actually got amazing performances by uh, him and Michelle Williams, but it's it's too fucking depressing. <laughs> uh, I think all of these belong in the B tier. Crazy Do Love is a great rom com. Really good rom com. Really enjoy it. Every couple every couple of years, I, I give it a watch, and it still makes me laugh. Believer, a really good uh, white supremacy movie. Half Nelson, a really good teacher movie. Stay. I'm going to put Stay in the B tier as well. I think this movie is so underappreciated. It's so weird. And where the le the movie's leading up to is very clever. That's all i got to say. Only God Forgives. There's some cool stylistic choices, but it's not very good. The Gray Man is okay. Big Short is okay. <laughs> Simple as that. They're okay. All right. Drive, Blade Runner 2049, nice guys. All 10 out of 10 movies, those are his best. Easily. When I think of the best Ryan Gosling movies, I'm like, Drive, Blade Runner, nice guys. Simple. Then I'm going La La Land, Place Beyond the Pines, Add some March. Great movies. Then I'm going, remember the Titans, Crazy Dude Love, Blue Valentine, Half Nelson, Stay, The Bleeper. Then I'm going to go... Fuck it. The Notebook, Fracture, Lars and the Real Girl, The Gray Man, Big Short. I think Big Short's a bit overrated, really. First Man, Gangster Squad, Only God Forgives, All Good Things. Movie sucks. Uh, there you go. It's my quick little tier ranking for Ryan Gosling, the sexy Canadian boy. Woo! <laughs> All right, let me know in the comments below what's your favorite and least favorite Ryan Gosling movie. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.